Uh, we're Scott and Angie from Don Angie Restaurant, and we're here at Murray's Cheese flagship store on Bleecker Street in West Village. We're here to shop, try some new cheeses today, and also uh, get some stuff to make some recipes out of our new cookbook, Italian American. So come on, let's, let's go inside. We're going to need to get a few different ty types of salumi because we're making a few recipes out of our book. So one thing that we're going to need is andouille. So in our book we're using it in a uh, meatball that's made with chicken and andouille, so it's like a spicy chicken meatball. Uh, we're definitely going to need some Genoa salami. That's the salami we use in the book. We do these like potato and cheese croquettes with salami inside. I mean, they're awesome. You know? <laughs> You're going to eat like 10 of them before the guests even get them. I think they are so one of the keys to our lasagna is we finish it with fresh roviola. Everybody thinks it's ricotta cheese, but it's not. It's fresh roviola, which is this right here. And what this is, is basically an Italian cream cheese. We use a lot of yeah. focus olive oil. Actually, it's a nice product. It's um, it's Sicilian. It's got like nice spiciness to it. It's really delicious for like finishing the lasagna. Yeah. And then we're not just going to make the lasagna today, we're going to make another recipe in our book, which is pasta Gemma. Named after my great-grandmother, Gemma. It's kind of like a, like a vegetarian style like carbonara. So the focal point of the dish is like eggs and cheese basically. And I like to make that one with bucatini or rusticella. It's um, you can tell when you see see this sort of like these like ridges on the pasta. That's that's an indicator of like a really nice quality dried pasta. So it's try a few things. It's something that you usually have as your traditional cheese okay. and something that is going to be slightly variation. So we do have collagio here. But I also want to by 8010, which is one of our cave age cheeses. We have a recipe in our book uh, using Telegio. We basically make like a potato and herb gnocchi um, with almost like a fonduta style sauce made with Telegio cheese. It just seems like more complex. Like it is so more depth to it. So how are you using your fontina? It's inside of like um, yeah. actually a pepperoni yeah. and fontina roll we make. It's like a it's like a pizza roll, like a it's like a fancy uh, pizza roll. Okay. That's really good. So we love cheese, but we also love salami. So this is an exciting <laughs> part of the store that we're in right now. We use several different types of salami in the book, as we mentioned. Pepperoni, obviously, our number one. Um, pancetta is actually the base of our bolognese that we make uh, for our pinwheel lasagna recipe. We also use guanciale in our amatriciana recipe. Uh, and then we use prosciutto in the book as well. We do a cool plan prosciutto and melon with uh, right, tamarind, chili, and lime. Thank you so much. You're welcome. Thank you. Thank you so much for joining us on our shopping trip here at Murray's Cheese. You can find a recipe for our pinwheel lasagna uh, on the Murray's Cheese website. If you're interested in finding out more about any of our other recipes, uh, you can order our book online now. And we hope you come and visit us at Don Angie in the West Village.